Hey guys, it's Jessie. Welcome to my channel. If you want to see how I got this look using my June Ipsy bag, just keep watching. So this month's Ipsy bag looks like this. It's really cute. It's kind of a canvasy material. I love this little design. I love the polka dots, of course. I am a sucker for polka dots. It's definitely one of the nicer quality Ipsy bags that I've had recently. I actually have six items in this month's Ipsy bag because a couple of months ago I got a dry shampoo, which they ended up recalling because I guess it was exploding. So they sent out an email and said if you marked that you had thrown it away, they would send you an extra item in an upcoming Ipsy bag. So clearly that is this month because I got six items. Let's go through it. So the first item this month is this Glamour Dolls eyeshadow brush. It's really cute. It's got some pink and some rose gold. We'll try that out later. Next, I have a Balm Springs blush, this long wearing blush. Uh, I believe the shade is called In Full Swing because that's what it says right there. It's a pretty pink blush. Then we've got a Luna Cosmetics eyeshadow. I really liked that highlighter that they sent me a couple months ago, that purple Calypso highlighter. So I'm excited to see what color this is. Uh, it's called Jace, J-A-C-E, and it's just a really pretty nude pink color, kind of peachy toned. Next, I've got a NYX Whipped Fuerte uh, Lipstick. This is in the shade Pink Cloud. This is a lip and cheek color. I'm not big on the whole cream blush thing, so I'll probably just use this as a lipstick. Next, I've got two face masks. These are the Bio Republic Skin Care. I've got Green Tea Detox, which is a purifying fiber mask, and then Aloe Rescue is a revitalizing fiber sheet mask. You know I'm a sucker for sheet masks, so I will definitely be using those. And then finally, I have the Koki Nail Polish. This is in the shade Gone Rio. It's really cute. It's what I have on my nails right now. It's a really pretty corally pink color. It's actually really similar to OPI Cajun Shrimp, which is of course an all-time favorite. Okay, so let's get started putting together a look with all these new products. I'm going to start by priming my face with my Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Primer. Of course. For foundation, I'm going to use my Dior Forever Skin. Love this stuff. So I know I've mentioned before what a spaz I am and how I hurt myself constantly and not so it shouldn't be shocking that I hurt myself again. I had already burned myself twice in like the course of three days last week. Or that was two weeks ago. That was two weeks ago. And then last week I was making dinner and I went to open uh, water chestnuts and I really I sliced my finger really bad. And now my whole cuticle bed is all like swollen and bruised and really gnarly. <sighs> I'm just a disaster. Next I'm gonna conceal with my Tarte Shape Tape in light medium honey. I know I mentioned it before, but June is just a crazy month for me and I have so much going on right now. It's like every single weekend is booked solid. We went away last weekend and then next weekend is my mom's birthday and Father's Day and so we're gonna do like a little day trip on Saturday and then Sunday we're gonna go to a Braves game and I'm really excited because I haven't been to the new Braves Stadium yet so we're gonna check that out. To set under my eyes and take my beauty blender and some Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. For my eyes today, first I'm gonna take that Luna shade that I got in my Ipsy and just put that all over my lid. Maybe. Okay, this eyeshadow is not super pigmented. 
Okay, I'm gonna try a different brush with that. I'm gonna take that Glamour Dolls brush and try using that instead. Next, I'm gonna take Makeup Geek Bitten and start working that into the outer corner and the outer crease of my eye. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of Max Sketch and put that in the outer corner. For liner, I'm gonna use my Kat Von D Trooper Tattoo Liner to create a little wing. Next, I'm gonna go back into Makeup Geek Bitten and start packing that in my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of sketch and just put that in the outer corner. And then I'm gonna take that Luna shade to blend it out. For my lashes, I've been taking a little bit of a break from fake eyelashes and trying to give my eyes a little bit of a rest. So I'm gonna use my Marc Jacobs Omega mascara on my lashes instead. To bronze up my face a little bit, I'm gonna use my Benefit Hula Bronzer. Okay, I'm gonna take the blush that I got in my Ipsy. My only problem with these tiny little balm samples are they are so small. That is a really pretty blush though and it's very highly pigmented. I just took a tiny little plonk and you can definitely see it. For highlighter, I'm gonna take my Balm Mary Luminizer Highlighter that at the tops of my cheeks. Okay, I'm gonna line my lips with my NYX Nude Beige Lip Liner. And then I'm gonna go into my NYX Whipped Fuite Lip Color. I have never used this one before. I've used a ton of the NYX lip products, but not this one. So we'll see how this goes. Ooh, ooh, it's very thick right off the bat. It's very light pink. This has a really strange consistency. I think it's because that whipped thing, I'm not, so I think maybe this would be better as a cream blush than as a lip. It's a little blotchy, but, but it's on. Okay, and to finish off this look, I'm just gonna set my face with my Morphe Prep and Set. Okay, and here's the finished look using the contents of my June Ipsy bag. So a lot of products in this month's Ipsy were this kind of baby pink color, which isn't a tone that I usually gravitate towards because I don't think it looks the best with my skin tone. But I do like experimenting with all different looks, so I'm not even mad about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.